Hello guys, welcome back. So in today's video we are doing the second part on the Orchid Collection update for the month of uh, September. So uh, here I have my Lelio Cattleya Caridad's Mini Queenie Angel Keys. Uh, I have actually divided this orchid into two separate pieces and it has responded really well. Um, I divided her because uh, she had a very very long stem in between the pseudobulbs and uh, yeah the orchid was looking like a straight line and I don't like that look on orchid so uh, I decided to separate it and as you can see let me focus here in the back uh, the back uh, part of the orchid is producing a new pseudobulb which will produce roots so that is very good and the front part it's uh, maturing this growth and uh, here on the base it's starting a new growth also I have discovered she has quite a lot of roots which is very very good and um, here we have that white cattleya no idea that we bought from um, orchid garden and uh, it was infested with fusarium, if you remember, as you can see actually right now on the screen. Uh, she is producing uh, some very very nice roots. They are all over. She's producing a lot of growth now. Um, I didn't plan to take her out of that uh, clay pot, but um, something happened. We had a very very bad storm which knocked the orchid on the floor. Uh, that clay pot uh, smashed and uh, I decided to put her into a plastic pot because anyway uh, it will hydrate better from a plastic pot she was very very dehydrated but now she is starting to recover unfortunately because she was such a big orchid and with uh, and with such a thin uh, rhizome uh, the orchid also split into five pieces i think four or five pieces so yeah right now uh, in the same pot are multiple divisions but i hope maybe next year i will find what uh, orchid she is because uh, they didn't even provide a picture i uh, won this one at an auction and here I have a very pretty orchid from Rachel. This is a Cattleya or Lelio Cattleya Coastal Sunrise. I am so waiting for this orchid to bloom. She is maturing this uh, suitable right now. The, this orchid wasn't uh, doing very good uh, before the season, but now she is starting to recover. The suitable. Uh, so the bulbs actually plumped back up and uh, yeah she's growing this growth and uh, another one here so maybe she will give me one bloom this year the blooms are so so pretty i think she has a little bit of calcium deficiency i will try to take care of that but first i need to order some uh, calcium nitrate okay uh here we have another amazing orchid this is my cutlea shingfong orange with uh, which just uh, matured this suitable which uh, has this very very nice sheet and she has some buds there inside uh, these leaves that uh, you see I cut <laughs> yeah I needed to work on the windows here well not me the workers and um, I covered the orchids underneath with a bag but I didn't really realize that the sunlight will hit that bag and that was way too hot for them so some uh, leaves got burned and uh, well I just cut them because they were ugly anyway the suitable is so so plump and she grew this in uh, like four months for me and right now she is uh, pushing buds but she, she is also growing this new suitable at the base so that is very very nice and here I have another very pretty uh, orange cattle this is a uh, cattle chief sweet orange and she just matured this suitable again uh, I have some weird marks on some cattle and I'm not very sure why 
I need to really take a look at them because, um, well, here in Romania we sometimes have uh, hail storms and that uh, can lead to some uh, weird marks on uh, orchid leaves, especially cutlass are uh, very affected by that, but uh, this has uh, some discolorations on the chlorophyll, so I will try to separate this one, apply some nitrogen to see if uh, maybe she has a deficiency. And uh, although this is the newest growth, so I'm not very sure about that, but anyway, uh, if not, uh, I will um, keep her separate because uh, viruses can make also chlorophyll um, out, not outbreaks. So. Anyway, I will show you on the screen what I'm talking about. I'm just not remembering the name of that specific uh, phenomenon. And here we have my Lelia purpurata variety in color. She is right now growing this huge, huge growth. I'm trying to stake her a little bit. And this is the biggest suitable that this orchid ever produced. And uh, she's growing a lot of fruits. She's starting also a new growth here. And I cannot wait to see this orchid again in bloom because she's amazing. Okay, down here we have my Cymbidum. It is growing so, so many growths. I needed to up pot the size of the pot because um, it was uh, getting uh, quite small for the size of it. And um, yeah, he is quite dusty, but uh, I will shower it uh, before I bring it uh, back inside in late autumn and uh, he's growing a lot of growths here he's still starting new growths he's growing all over the year for me he doesn't have that uh, cycle very defined but he's also pushing up uh, already some spikes i hope this year they will get to develop because uh, last year he did produce um, about five uh, spikes but they dried up they uh, were like this and uh, after that they just uh, started to dry off and uh, I wasn't very sure uh, why was that I um, kept him uh, very close to my heater so maybe that was the cause actually that is a very likely cause but uh, this year I will uh, keep him in my balcony and he will do good so uh, if he will dry uh, again the spikes he will go into the trash but uh, won't be my fault anymore about the spikes it will be something uh, wrong with the orchid okay here it's a huge huge mass of um, dendrobium nobiles uh, they are quite unruly right now and uh, you can see they are still growing some need actually more water that, than I can provide to them and uh, they are already in semi hydro so I am not sure what I can do more than that because the reservoir isn't getting empty and uh, just you to see how big this is this little plant here it is my dendrobium spring dream apollon and i'm so waiting for this uh, thing to bloom this spring because um he has so many canes from which he didn't bloom that uh, he should make such a nice spectacle this year so I'm re really looking forward for that and here we have my uh, Dendrobium berry Oda. He has grown about uh, 10 or 11 new canes this year and I am very looking forward for the spikes. He doesn't have any more mites so this is good. Uh, here is my uh, Brassavola cuculata. It's growing uh, two new growths at the base and it's starting to push up some very nice roots there, which is good because it uh, didn't have any roots. And here we have an amazing orchid. Uh, this is hail damage, what I was saying. Yeah, we have sometimes hail storms and uh, they leave nasty markings on the leaves, but uh, yeah, I. Yeah, if you want to grow orchids outdoors, you have uh, pros and cons, and uh, yeah, this is one of mine. Anyway, he is producing two new growths, and as you can see, I have a lovely, lovely spike here. And I have on this side two more spikes on this other growth, 
Hope you can see that. I need to move this one uh, to a better location. And here we have my uh, Dendrobium Yellow Magic Festival. He's still uh, growing actually. So I'm not sure when I will get to give them the winter rest. Because uh, for me they grow all over the year. So uh, I think um, I will try to apply uh, Roger's conditions for Dendrobium. And... Uh, he will get only what uh, nature provides so uh, less uh, light and uh, cooler temperatures but uh, that will be pretty much all and of course less fertilizer i'm not sure how i can give uh, winter rest to an orchid that is uh, still pushing up new growth if you see the dendrobium uh, spring dream pollen then there on the base here it uh, is still producing a new growth and this are not uh, matured yet so yeah they are growing and growing <laughs> never stopping mm, this pretty one is my dendrobium sweet pinky love it's growing such a uh, nice canes this year and i really hope to get him to bloom he produced six canes for me so i am really looking forward i think i will be able to give this one a winter rest because i don't think he's going to give me many leaves if you see they are starting to become thinner and thinner so um i think uh he is reaching the end of the season and uh, after they will uh, stop growing i will cut the old ones because you can see they are quite ugly and without this the plant would look so so much better anyway okay this is an orchid that I kind of messed up. This is Dendrobium Yasuko Sujama March. And I got this one from uh, Equahenera. And uh, it was starting to recover finally. And when I have uh, changed the pebbles, I wanted to cut some uh, dead roots. But uh, I managed to cut uh, also a very, very big root with uh, branching branches. And... Um, it was uh, kind of his only root, so I am hoping this growth and this one at the base will uh, will push up some roots. Wait, oh yeah, it is already starting to push up new roots, so that is good. But uh, anyway, uh, I need to stake this one a little bit and uh, see after that. I won't uh, put this one into winter rest just because uh, he's not that healthy, so... Uh, he doesn't need that and here i have my uh, dendrobium phalaenopsis this is the no id it matured this growth and this growth this year uh, okay here is my uh, bellara peggy root carpenter jam and uh, i'm waiting for a spike from this orchid I hope it will start to push it soon, it should, it always does, and after that I will put it on sale because I don't want it anymore. They just uh, sell much better uh, if they are in spike or in bloom. Yeah, not yet. Here I have a bag division from my uh, Zycopetalum Trozy Blue. And uh, because the back part of the orchid was infected with Fusarium, uh, the rhizome is still affected and it uh, did try to produce some uh, new growths here but uh, they obviously dried up and the roots too so uh, yeah I guess uh, they won't uh, push up any more new growths but I will keep it until they will die. I, I don't need to give him any special care so he will just stay here until uh, at least uh, I need to bring all the orchids inside and after that I will decide. Here is another uh, Dendrobium phalaenopsis, no ID. Uh, he's still ve growing very, very nicely. This is that uh, Bryce Verucosa that I got from John, and uh, I separated uh, this bulb from the other one. This is the new growth, and uh, if you see, the roots aren't doing really all that good. Uh, they start to get very. Um, I don't know how to say that but uh, they are not very healthy and this uh, producing a new growth again from this new growth so it is very very stressed it is infected with fusarium so um, 
yeah i uh right now i am leaving the um, cut here in the rhizome to get uh, completely healed and after that i will put uh, this one again in semi hydro this area doesn't uh, receive all that much sunlight this is why i actually cut it because uh, the bulb was uh <clears throat> was rotting off which is uh, not good at all it tried to produce a new growth from the top they actually had a growing point here but uh, this is uh, completely dead that this won't develop at all it just doesn't have uh, from where to take off energy anyway this is that uh, dendrobium um, purple happiness which i saved from fusarium it is growing this very strong new growth i'm very very happy for it it also has a very good root system there in the pot i separated this tree because uh, well i just thought they would do better separated here i have that cattleya yellow no idea from uh, rachel uh, it is pushing up these three new growths I hope you can see them and uh, I also have another one at the base wait there you go I can't really reach there there you go and uh, it also has uh, matured these two suitable this year so that would make six suitable and the season is not yet over which is good for me <laughs> I hope I will get some blooms from him. Uh, here I have my very very pretty Brasovola yellow bird. You can see she is in spike. Uh, I uh, now have uh, three spikes as you can see but unfortunately here on the top uh, I have one bud blast here and one here. I think she got uh, too much sunlight. The buds are uh, sensitive to very strong sunlight so uh, I will bring her inside but I also have this growth with a sheet. This uh, I can see here inside the sheet this one this one and this one she's growing about uh, nine or ten growths at a time and she is uh, already starting to produce some smaller ones here wait sorry here and uh, i also saw some in the back i have one here there you go this one and uh, there are more so uh, she's doing very very good i cannot wait to see this orchid in full bloom she usually pushes up uh, spikes in two rows and uh, yeah, that is exactly what she's doing now. Okay, this orchid was actually in bloom while uh, I was uh, caught with my exams. This is Cattleya Siam Jade. And she produced uh, three blooms from this spike. She was very, very beautiful. But unfortunately, I was so, so busy that I didn't really have time to um, uh, even make a photo with her. So that is that. But you can see she had three blooms here. And uh, here I have a new growth starting, which is good. Okay, here I have my Cattleya Mossier variety Alba. This is such a crazy orchid. She produced uh, three or four growths this year. This, this, and this, I think. So yeah, three, mm -hmm. three growths are already matured when I have uh, reported her uh, I've moved her in semi-hydro and uh, some roots died, which is normal of course, but uh, she was a little bit stressed. She stayed uh, three weeks on transport, so that is quite a lot of time. But now she's producing one, two, three, four. I hope you can see that. Let me focus. So I have three growths on that part. Uh, four five and i saw a sixth one anyway five or six growths from uh, this tiny little orchid which is uh quite amazing i'm quite happy with my feeding regime so yeah this is hail damage yeah uh this uh cattleya jackie 
uh, I actually found an ID for her and I'm waiting for these buds to, uh, to start to develop more. I want to do an ID video for her. Now we are waiting for the blooms. This is a new acquisition. You didn't really get to find out about, about her because uh, I was uh, studying in this period. So this is my Brasavola David Sander. I purchased this orchid um, from uh, Orchids and More and uh, she's doing very very good. I have repotted her in semi-hydro. This was uh, one year from flowering size. I have a new growth on the base and some roots starting to grow nicely on uh, inside the pot so that is good. Okay. Here is a little bit crowded. This is that uh, beautiful uh, Catlano idea that I recently bought from uh, Orchid Garden. I hope, I really, really hope she will uh, bloom from this um, growth. As you can see, she is loving semi hydro. She is producing one growth here, one here, and uh, yeah, she will bloom without a sheet if she wants to. So, yeah really looking forward for that this is a uh, Cataliente Rojo I took this um, I got this orchid from um, Miss Orchid Girl and uh, she's finally starting to recover it's growing some nice roots here well the new growth is not very good as size but yeah I am uh, at least happy that next season she will do better And I really need to stake her because she's very, very unstable. Yeah. Right. Hold on. Okay. Um. This is my Cattleya Summit Centro. No. Pers this is my Cattleya Persvaliana Summit crossed with Central Remolaca. And yeah, this is a sample, uh, which is doesn't look all that good and I will cut this leaf but uh, another uh, really nice effect for uh, those products you see here I have a new growth here I have a second growth the third one and the fourth one is starting right there she's in semi hydro she has a lot a lot of roots wait so she's doing very very good now i'm not really sure what uh, these are supposed to be because sh this is a unifoliate cattleya but uh, yeah she decided to produce something that looks uh, as a second leaf which uh, is quite odd because as a size is more like a sheet so who knows maybe she wants to bloom and here is my Cattleya Harrisoni Alba Hybrid is uh, growing a very very nice new growth here and unfortunately I managed to sunburn her but uh, I'm very happy that uh, at least I managed to make her recover she didn't had all that many roots last year here is my Aliesara Tahitian Dancer I got this one from Rachel and uh, it grew this seed bulb this year, it's growing this two new growths, growing here a spike and if we look here, uh, no, just one spike but maybe it will be a strong one, that is my hope. And uh, the last orchid for this uh, second part, it is uh, this um, BLC Picotti Passion SVO, that stands for uh, Sunset Valley Orchids and it's uh, finally starting to pick up growth, it's growing these two new, these two new growths here and is pushing up some new roots which is good. Unfortunately when I have received this orchid it was looking like shit, it didn't have any roots, the suitable were uh, the suit bulbs were uh, paper thin and uh, she looks uh, like uh, she also has a fungal disease or a virus which um, it's not that good I guess but I'm waiting to see some blooms this uh, seems to be like a strong growth which would be make me very very happy because I'm really looking forward to see this orchid in bloom so right guys this is all for today Stay tuned for part 3 of this video.